Hey boys and girls, it's Mr. Raid. I wanted to take some time to review prime factorization and writing prime factorization in exponential notation. We have a number here, it's 108, and what I'd like to do is write out the number and express this number using only prime numbers. And we've studied in class that the writing of a number in prime factorization is the expression of the number using only prime numbers that are factorized. And you'll see through the lesson what it means to factorize. You may remember what it means to factorize, however. So let's begin. I'm going to create a factor string that can make or produce the number 108. So I start with two numbers and I'm going to, to start with 12 times 9. The factor string is 12 times 9 because a factor string uh, is any two or more numbers that multiply each other to make another number or to produce another number. The action of multiplication is called factorization. So I've got 12 times 9 as my factor string and this is called factorization when I'm multiplying 12 and 9. Now my goal is to be able to get the numbers to be all primes. I want to create the longest factor string of only prime numbers that multiply each other or factorize. 12 and 9 are not prime numbers. So what I do is break each of them down. 12 I'm going to break down further until I can get 12 to be represented by all prime numbers. So I ask myself, what two numbers, what factor string, multiply each other to make 12? I know that 4 times 3 does. And I'm going to bring this multiplication sign down. Because 4 times 3 is only 12, I need to continue the rest of my factor string to get 108. 4 times 3 times what makes 108? Well, 9 is not a prime number. So I've got to turn 9 into a prime number by breaking it down into a factor string of only primes. I know that 3 times 3 is 9. Right now my factor string is 4 times 3 times 3 times 3. I'm factorizing these numbers to try to get 108. Now, this is not the prime factorization because it's not the longest chain or string of numbers that are prime multiplying each other. Instead, we've got to continue further with the breakdown. Here's what I do know. I know that these threes are prime numbers. They only have themselves and one as a factor, but four is not. So I'm going to break the four down into prime numbers. Two times two makes four. Both, well, two is a prime number. And I'm going to repeat these threes because I have to make 109 as part of my factorization. And now I check are all of these numbers prime numbers? They are because each of these numbers only has itself and the number 1 as factors. Prime factorization is the longest factor string of only prime numbers. This, boys and girls, is the prime factorization for 108. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 or 12 times 9 or 4 times 3 times 3 times 3 all make 108 the only difference is that this string is made up of only prime numbers. Therefore, it is called the prime factorization. Now, I'm going to write this prime factorization in exponential notation. I'm going to write this language using exponents. I ask myself, where could I write exponents where a particular digit is being repeated or repeatedly multiplied? I see that 2 times 2 is a repetition. And instead of writing 2 times 2, which makes 4, I know that 2 multiplying itself, which is what we have here, can be represented as 2 squared. And then I bring this multiplication sign down, because I'm going to multiply 2 squared by the other repetition, or the other numbers that repeat uh, multiplying themselves. In this case, it's 3. 3 multiplies itself 1, two, three times. 
So 2 squared times 3 multiplying itself 3 times, which is also known as 3 cubed, or 3 to the third power. This, boys and girls, is 108 written in prime factorization and then written in exponential notation. 2 squared times 3 cubed, or 2 squared times 3 to the third power, or 2 to the second power times 3 to the third power equals 108. Please stay tuned and continue to watch more lessons. Thank you.